Imagine a world where you hold the key to transforming your life, a world where your deepest desires are not just distant dreams, but tangible realities waiting to unfold. This is not a fantasy, it's the power of state shifting, a profound secret that lies within you. State shifting is not just a concept, it's a living, breathing process that you're already doing every day without realizing it. Every time your mood changes, every time you feel a shift in your emotions or thoughts, you're experiencing a minor shift in your state. But what if you could control this process? What if you could choose the state you want to be in? You see, these minor shifts that you experience every day are vastly different from true state shifting, which allows you to shift and control reality at your will. State shifting is about consciously moving from one state of being to another. It's about recognizing that you have the power to influence your emotions, your thoughts, and as a result, your reality. Think of states as different channels on a radio. Each channel has its unique frequency and content. Similarly, each state has its unique emotions, thoughts, and energies. There are states of joy, sadness, abundance, lack, love, fear, and so many more. The state you're in determines how you view the world, how you react to events, and ultimately, the reality you live in. State shifting, as conceptualized here, echoes the profound philosophies of many great thinkers throughout history. One such philosopher who delved deep into the nature of reality and the power of the mind was René Descartes. Descartes, a 17th century French philosopher, mathematician and scientist, is often regarded as the father of modern Western philosophy. His famous dictum, cogito ergo sum, I think therefore I am, fundamentally shifted the course of philosophical thought, emphasizing the role of the mind in defining existence. Descartes' philosophy centered around the idea of radical doubt and the belief that through doubting, one can eventually reach a foundation of absolute certainty. In the context of state shifting, Descartes' philosophy provides a fascinating lens. He posited that the only thing we cannot doubt is our own existence as thinking beings. This self-awareness and recognition of our thoughts can be seen as the first step in mastering state shifting. By acknowledging our thoughts and emotions as the core of our being, we can begin to understand how to shift them consciously. Descartes also distinguished between the mind and body, a concept known as Cartesian dualism. He believed that the mind and body were two fundamentally different substances, with the mind being non-physical and the body being physical. This separation is crucial when considering state shifting, it implies that while our physical state may be influenced by external factors, our mental state is under our control. Thus, state shifting becomes a practice of exercising control over our mind, which in turn can influence our physical reality. Furthermore, Descartes argued that the physical world is governed by mechanical laws, but the realm of thought is free from such constraints. This notion aligns with the idea of state shifting, where the constraints of physical reality do not limit the possibilities of what one can achieve through mental transformation. By believing that we can transcend these physical limitations through the power of the mind, state shifting becomes a method of aligning oneself with a reality that is not immediately apparent, but can be actualized through mental effort. Descartes' meditations on the nature of reality, perception and existence also play a critical role in understanding state shifting. He pondered the reliability of our senses and the nature of reality, concluding that our perception of the world is often flawed. This realization opens the door to the concept of state shifting, where one can choose to perceive and thus experience reality in a different, more empowering way. By acknowledging that our current state of reality might be limited by our perceptions, we gain the power to shift those perceptions and consequently our experience of reality. One of the most liberating realizations you'll have is that you are not bound to your current state. You are not permanently a sad person or a failure. These are just states you're passing through. They do not define you. You have the power to change these states and by doing so, change your life. 
But how exactly can we start state shifting? Well, the first step in state shifting is awareness. You must become aware of the state you're currently in. This might sound simple, but it requires deep introspection. How are you feeling right now? What thoughts are running through your mind? Understanding your current state is essential because only then can you choose to shift to a different, more desirable state. To shift your state, you must first have a clear desire of where you want to be. What is the state that aligns with your goals and desires? Is it a state of abundance, love, health or success? Once you identify this state, you need to make a conscious decision to enter it. This decision is a powerful act. It's your declaration to the universe that you're ready for a change. Renowned existentialist philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre emphasized the importance of self-awareness in his philosophy. He argued that in order to make authentic choices and live meaningful lives, individuals must confront their own existence and take responsibility for it. This notion aligns with the first step in state shifting, which is awareness. Sartre believed that many people live in a state of bad faith, where they deceive themselves about their true nature and the choices they make. They might conform to societal expectations or follow a predetermined path without ever questioning whether it aligns with their authentic desires. To shift your state, according to Sartre, you must first engage in a process of self-examination and self-awareness. You need to confront the state you are currently in and examine the thoughts, beliefs and actions that have led you there. This self-reflection is crucial because it allows you to recognize any patterns or habits that are keeping you stuck in an undesirable state. It also helps you uncover your true desires and values, which are essential for identifying the state that aligns with your goals. Sartre's philosophy also emphasizes the importance of choice. He believed that humans are defined by the choices they make, and these choices determine our essence. When it comes to state shifting, making a conscious decision to enter a different state is a fundamental step, as it aligns with Sartre's concept of radical freedom. Your decision to shift states is an assertion of your freedom and a declaration to the universe that you are ready to take responsibility for your life and create the change you desire. However, Sartre also acknowledged the challenges and anxieties that come with freedom and choice. He coined the term existential angst to describe the anxiety and unease that individuals experience when confronted with the vastness of possibilities and the weight of their decisions. This existential angst can be particularly relevant when attempting to shift states, as it may lead to fear, doubt or hesitation. Consider a well-known individual who exemplified the concept of state shifting, Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Jobs was not just a visionary in technology, he was also a master of state shifting. He understood the power of his mindset and environment in achieving extraordinary results. Jobs often shifted his state to one of intense focus and creativity, which was evident in his approach to design and innovation. He created environments that fostered this state, both for himself and his team. For example, the layout of the Apple campus was designed to encourage unplanned interactions and creative collaboration, thus cultivating a state of innovation and openness. Now, we delve into one of the most potent tools in your state-shifting arsenal, visualization. This is not just about seeing a dream, it's about living it in your mind's eye to transform your reality. Visualization is more than just a mental exercise, it's an art of immersing yourself in the reality you wish to create. It's about painting a vivid picture in your mind, where your desires are not just possibilities, but existing realities. Visualization works because the mind often can't distinguish between what's real and what's vividly imagined. This blurring of lines is where the magic happens. When you visualize, you're essentially training your mind and aligning your energy with the state you want to enter. You're creating a blueprint that your subconscious will work towards. The key to effective visualization is clarity. The more detailed your vision, the more powerful the impact. Imagine the colors, the sounds, the textures, the emotions, are you feeling the warmth of the sun in your envisioned beach house? Can you hear the laughter of loved ones? 
The more vivid your visualization, the stronger the signal you send to your subconscious. One of the cultures that have harnessed the power of visualization in a profound way is Tibetan Buddhism. Within Tibetan Buddhism, there is a practice known as Tibetan Buddhist deity visualization that is used to connect with and embody the qualities of specific deities or enlightened beings. This practice is deeply rooted in the belief that through visualization, one can transform their consciousness and bring about positive changes in their life. In Tibetan Buddhism, deities are not seen as external beings but as archetypal representations of specific qualities or aspects of enlightenment. These deities are visualized in intricate detail with specific attributes, colors, postures and symbols. Practitioners engage in deity visualization as a means of invoking the qualities and wisdom associated with these deities within themselves. One of the most well-known deities in Tibetan Buddhism is Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion. When practicing Avalokiteshvara visualization, practitioners imagine themselves as Avalokiteshvara, radiating boundless compassion and loving-kindness to all sentient beings. The visualization is incredibly detailed, encompassing the deity's thousand arms, each holding various symbolic objects, and the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum, flowing through their being. The power of Tibetan Buddhist deity visualization lies in its ability to transform one's consciousness and cultivate the qualities represented by the deity. Through consistent and detailed visualization, practitioners work to dissolve their egoic sense of self and merge with the enlightened qualities of the deity. This not only aids in personal spiritual development, but also serves as a means of generating compassion and positive energy to benefit others. Visualization is also found in Christianity. Meditation often involves reflecting deeply on the teachings and stories found in the Bible. It requires mental focus and imagination to immerse oneself in the biblical narratives and teachings. For example, when meditating on a biblical story, a Christian may try to mentally place themselves within that story, imagining the sights, sounds and emotions of the characters involved. This leads to a key element that can make or break your visualizations, emotions. Emotions are the fuel that powers your visualization. They are what transform a mere thought into a state-shifting force. When you visualize, engulf yourself in the emotions of having already achieved your desire. Feel the joy, the pride, the gratitude. These emotions will raise your vibrational frequency and bring you closer to your desired state. Emotions are indeed the driving force behind the effectiveness of visualization. They serve as the bridge between your thoughts and your desired reality. By consciously engaging with your emotions during the visualization process, you tap into a powerful tool for manifesting your goals and aspirations. One of the most important aspects of emotions in visualization is their ability to generate a sense of authenticity and belief in your desired outcome. When you immerse yourself in the emotions of having already achieved your goal, it creates a sense of certainty within your subconscious mind. This certainty is crucial because it helps to remove doubts and limiting beliefs that might otherwise hinder your progress. Imagine, for instance, that you are visualizing yourself giving a flawless presentation at work. As you vividly picture yourself standing confidently before your colleagues and receiving applause, you should also immerse yourself in the emotions associated with that achievement. Feel the surge of confidence, the pride in your abilities, and the sense of accomplishment. These emotions not only enhance the quality of your visualization, but also boost your self-confidence and belief in your capacity to excel in real-life situations. It's normal to encounter doubts and fears during visualization. These are just old states trying to pull you back. Acknowledge them, but don't let them take over. Remind yourself that you're in control and that you're on a journey to a new state. We have mastered the art of visualization, a vital step in state shifting. Now we delve into the mysterious and powerful realm of the subconscious mind. 
Understanding and aligning your subconscious is crucial in shifting your reality to match your deepest desires. The subconscious mind is like an iceberg. What's visible above the surface is just a small fraction of its immense power. It operates below the level of conscious awareness, yet it influences much of our behavior, decisions, and ultimately, our reality. The subconscious doesn't process reality through logic or reason. It speaks the language of emotions, images, and beliefs. This is why visualization is so powerful. It communicates directly with your subconscious in its native language. Think of your subconscious mind as a fertile garden. The seeds you plant here will grow and shape your external reality. These seeds are your thoughts, beliefs, and the emotional states you frequently inhabit. To shift your reality, you must plant seeds of positivity, abundance, and success. The subconscious mind loves repetition. It learns and adopts patterns that are frequently repeated. This is where affirmations come in. Affirmations are positive, present tense statements that, when repeated often, can reprogram your subconscious mind to align with your desires. An individual that was able to harness the subconscious mind was Leonardo da Vinci, born in 1452 in Vinci, Italy, was a true Renaissance polymath. His genius spanned various fields, including art, science, engineering, and anatomy. Leonardo's life serves as an exceptional example of how the subconscious mind can shape and drive a person's creative genius and influence the course of history. In the context of state shifting and mastering the art of visualization, Leonardo's mastery of the subconscious mind becomes even more profound. His notebooks, filled with thousands of pages of drawings, diagrams and writings, reveal his insatiable curiosity and unquenchable thirst for knowledge. This constant exploration of his subconscious mind allowed him to tap into a deep well of creativity. Leonardo's iconic works, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, are not mere products of his conscious thought alone. They are the result of a harmonious marriage between his conscious intentions and the untamed power of his subconscious. His meticulous observations of nature, his experiments with light and shadow, and his unrelenting pursuit of perfection were all driven by the unseen forces of his subconscious, pushing the boundaries of artistic achievement. But Leonardo's brilliance extended far beyond the canvas. His inventions and designs for machines, bridges and flying contraptions, though largely unrealized in his time, were rooted in his deep understanding of the subconscious mind's ability to envision the future. Leonardo's sketches and plans for machines that mimicked human movement, such as the mechanical knight or the flying machine, were precursors to modern robotics and aviation. Furthermore, Leonardo's studies in anatomy, captured in his detailed anatomical drawings, are a testament to his subconscious drive for understanding the human body's inner workings. He dissected cadavers in secret, risking the wrath of the church, and produced detailed sketches of muscles, organs, and bones. His comprehensive anatomical studies laid the foundation for modern medicine and surgery, revealing the profound impact that one individual's subconscious exploration can have on the advancement of human knowledge. Leonardo's capacity to shift states of mind, to tap into the hidden recesses of his subconscious, allowed him to bridge the gap between art and science. He was a true alchemist of the mind, transmuting raw curiosity into artistic masterpieces, scientific breakthroughs, and technological innovations. A useful tool for influencing the subconscious mind is affirmations. While Leonardo da Vinci might not have used them in the same way as we do today, the concept of affirming one's intentions and beliefs aligns with his subconscious mastery. Affirmations are positive statements that are repeated regularly with the goal of reprogramming the subconscious mind to adopt new thought patterns, beliefs and behaviors. In Leonardo's case, his affirmations were likely embedded in his daily routines and habits. He constantly affirmed his commitment to understanding the mysteries of the world through his relentless observation, sketching, and experimentation. 
His unwavering belief in the power of human curiosity and creativity served as a guiding affirmation that propelled him forward in his quest for knowledge. Affirmations are not limited to individuals like Leonardo da Vinci. They can be a powerful tool for anyone seeking to harness the potential of their subconscious mind. When creating affirmations, ensure they are in the present tense, positive and specific. For example, I am successful and attract abundance effortlessly. Repeat these affirmations daily and feel the emotions they evoke as if they are already your reality. For affirmations to be effective, they must be charged with emotion. It's not just about saying the words, it's about feeling them deeply. This emotional charge bridges the gap between your conscious intentions and your subconscious beliefs. Often, our subconscious holds on to limiting beliefs that contradict our conscious desires. These may stem from past experiences or societal conditioning. Identify these blocks by observing your patterns and reactions. Once identified, use affirmations to gently replace them with empowering beliefs. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in aligning your subconscious. Be aware of your thoughts and emotions throughout the day. Are they supporting your desired state? If not, gently guide them back. This constant awareness ensures that your garden is tended and free from weeds of negativity. Aligning your subconscious mind with your desires is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, persistence and trust. Trust that your subconscious is working in the background even when you're not actively thinking about your desires. Using affirmations to align your subconscious and attain your desires draw inspiration from the law of attraction, a universal principle that acts as a cosmic bridge between our inner desires and outer experiences. The law of attraction is straightforward yet profound. Like attracts like. Your thoughts, emotions and beliefs are not just internal experiences. They are powerful signals that attract similar energies and experiences into your life. By aligning your inner world with your desired state, you set the stage for the universe to manifest these desires into your reality. Every thought and emotion has its vibrational frequency. Positive empowering thoughts vibrate at a higher frequency, attracting positive experiences, while negative thoughts do the opposite. Your task is to maintain a high vibrational frequency that resonates with the reality you wish to create. The law of attraction is most effective when your thoughts and emotions are in harmony. It's not enough to just think positively, you must also feel positively. This alignment creates a powerful vibrational match for your desires, making them more likely to manifest. While the law of attraction is often associated with the power of thought, action is an equally important component. Action is the physical expression of your thoughts and desires. It's a signal to the universe that you're serious about your intentions. By taking inspired action, you're not just wishing for change. You're actively participating in its creation. It's essential to move beyond passive wishing to active creation. This means not just dreaming about your desired state, but also taking steps towards it. Whether it's researching, planning, networking or experimenting, each action brings you closer to your goal. As you align your thoughts, emotions and actions with your desired reality, you may start noticing synchronicities. These are meaningful coincidences that often occur when you're in harmony with the law of attraction. They are signs that the universe is responding to your vibrational frequency. Neville Goddard was a prominent figure in the realm of metaphysical and self-help teachings and his work greatly contributed to the understanding and application of the law of attraction. He emphasized the importance of imagination and the power of the subconscious mind in manifesting desires. According to Goddard, imagination is the key to creating the life you desire. He believed that the imagination is not merely a passive tool for daydreaming, but a creative force that shapes your reality. By vividly imagining your desires as already fulfilled, you send a powerful signal to your subconscious mind, which in turn influences your thoughts, emotions and actions. Goddard's teachings underscored the idea that your subconscious mind cannot distinguish between a vividly imagined experience 
and a real one. Therefore, when you consistently engage your imagination in a state of wish fulfillment, your subconscious accepts these images as your new reality. As a result, your thoughts and beliefs align with your desires, and the law of attraction is set into motion. It's important to remember that challenges and setbacks are part of the journey. They are not indicators of failure, but opportunities for growth and realignment. When faced with challenges, revisit your thoughts and emotions. Are they aligned with your desired outcome? Keep in mind that the power of the law of attraction can't be harnessed without using gratitude. You see, gratitude is more than a feeling, it's a state of being. It resonates from the heart and permeates every aspect of our lives, creating a vibrational frequency that aligns beautifully with abundance and joy. When gratitude becomes a habit, it transforms our perspective, highlighting the abundance already present in our lives and attracting even more. One of the most profound aspects of gratitude is its ability to transform our view of challenges. Instead of seeing difficulties as obstacles, gratitude allows us to view them as opportunities for growth and learning. This shift in perspective changes our vibrational frequency, aligning us more closely with our desired outcomes. Integrating gratitude into your daily life can start simply. Each day, take a moment to reflect on what you are grateful for. These don't have to be grandiose. They can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a smile from a stranger, or the comfort of your bed. The key is to genuinely feel the gratitude as you reflect on these moments. Gratitude also plays a vital role in our relationships. Expressing gratitude to and for the people in our lives enhances our connections and attracts more positive interactions. It creates a cycle of appreciation and kindness which enriches both our own lives and the lives of those around us. Even in times of hardship, there's always something to be grateful for. This doesn't mean ignoring pain or difficulty, but rather finding a silver lining, however small. This practice can be profoundly transformative, shifting your energy from despair to hope. Gratitude has a ripple effect. As you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, you'll notice its impact not just in your thoughts and emotions, but in your interactions with others and in the opportunities that begin to present themselves. Gratitude opens doors, often in the most unexpected ways. Gratitude and the law of attraction are symbiotic. Gratitude amplifies your alignment with the law of attraction, enhancing your ability to attract what you desire. It acknowledges the universe's generosity and in doing so invites more abundance. Think of state shifting as a symphony. Each element we've explored is an instrument playing its unique part. When harmonized, they create a beautiful melody of transformation. Your role is the conductor, guiding each element to play in sync, creating the reality you wish to experience. As you apply this framework, remember that challenges are not setbacks but opportunities for growth and realignment. They are part of the journey, teaching you resilience and providing insights into areas that need attention or adjustment. I hope you enjoyed this journey. If you did, feel free to share your experiences below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.